it's Don, the Austrian Professor. Today I wanted to talk about business decisions versus personal decisions. Now I've had a lot of people jump in and make comments and things about decisions they make and for the most part a large percentage of the folks that are making decisions are basing them on personal opinions rather than business decisions. Now a big key factor in being successful is trying to take your personal life, your personal opinions, your personal feelings out of the business and only making your decisions based on what's best for the business, what's right, what's legal, what's moral for your business. So that is a key factor that you need to be able to separate. A lot of folks who haven't run an uh, establishment or been in charge of a business don't always understand the difference between a personal or a business decision. Let's say a, a buyer has an issue with the item. They're making up some demand or making up a statement that, you know, describing it as not as it was described, stating you did something wrong, and you know darn well you didn't. A lot of people take that personally. They'll take it as an attack on them. Even if the person is trying to scam you, they are not trying to scam you as a person. They're trying to scam you as a business eBay is considered a business. A lot of people when they buy off eBay don't consider the individual person as another person. They consider it eBay who they are ripping off. It is eBay's problem. eBay will fix the issue. eBay will take care of the problems. So if they rip somebody off, they assume eBay is going to come in and take care of it. And even those who don't assume or don't really care who takes care of it, they're just trying to rip you off. You know, it's not a personal attack on you in any way, shape, or form. Now, you can let it be personal. Like, let's say you go in there and you make some remarks based on your feelings about the, the person trying to scam you. You say some derogatory remarks or something along that line. And then it allows them to go over and above what they've been doing to you to start off with. So it, that's usually when things escalate. Um, you know, it, it's a business decision. No matter what you're doing, if it's being done on behalf or for your eBay business, your Amazon business, your Etsy business, or whatever the case may be, you honestly have to separate your personal feelings and, and, and uh, thoughts on the thing. You have to look at it from a whole different standpoint. Everything that you do is a decision that's going to affect your business. It may not affect your personal life at all, so it's a business decision. You have to treat it as a business decision. You can't just go off, uh, you know, half-cocked, thinking I'm going to go and, and get revenge on this person, or how dare they do that to me. These people do it to all kinds of people. They don't care who you are, what you're doing. The point of the matter is they're doing it to a, a person that's selling something, and to them that's a business. It doesn't matter if you're a small business with only a few hundred items up or a big business with you know thousands of employees and tens of millions of items up. They treat you the same way. Again, it is not personal. When I worked in restaurants and stuff like that, when, when people had issues with the bill or were trying to scam the restaurant or walk out on their tab, it wasn't against me. No one ever said, hey, let's screw this guy over. They just didn't want to have to pay for it. They didn't care who they, they did it to. It was a business. The business will just eat up the difference. And I've heard that many, many times, even when we've caught people or I've had to get the police out there to have somebody arrested for stealing from us or something along that line. It's a business, and I've heard it many, many times. You can watch tons and tons of videos of interviews with people and, you know, the theft mind and, you know, what they think they're getting out of this. And the majority of people who, who are into this and are doing these scams, they just think it's a business. They don't care who you are. So, you know, again, it, it's not personal. It's not a personal attack on you. It's not a personal attempt to rip off from you personally. So, again, that's why I've separated... Um, and taking all emotions out of this. You cannot have emotions tied to your eBay business. You know, like you emotionally don't want to sell something or you have a, a diversion against a certain brand for some other reason that's unrelated to business. If I can make a ton of money off of something and morally just wise, there's nothing that I am personally doing wrong as a business, then I'm going to sell it. Even if it's something that I may not agree with or I don't agree with, you know, something tied to it, religion, politics, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. This is a business. Most big businesses or corporations in the United States or across the globe only worry about what's going to affect their business. You do, do not just hear about the CEO of the company taking something personal and attacking somebody or doing a different business strategy because of their personal feelings. There are some that do that occasionally. Yes, there are. But for the most part, like 99% of all businesses separate that. They don't allow that to come into the play. 
Their, their goal is for the bottom line. And that's what your goal should be, to be worrying about your bottom line and taking those personal feelings out of it. I know it's hard for some people when they first get into it. This is their livelihood. This is their life when you first start off, as it was for us. But again, I don't ever let that bother me anymore. I don't let that get into my personal life. When I'm done with eBay, I'm done with eBay for the day. I'm doing something else and I'm not even thinking about it for the most part. If we're out with the family, we're out to dinner or something like that, you know, or if somebody's throwing in a low ball offer. I know people get mad, they, they complain about it. You know, it, it's just business. That's just it is. If you go to a pawn shop and make a, an offer on something, you know, they're not going to sit there and argue with you. They're just going to look at how much money do I need to make off this item and then going to tell you their counter or offer based on the amount of money they need to make. So, you know, if somebody gives you a low offer, come back with an offer that you know you want to take for it. If they don't take it, oh well, you move on. So, you know, again, this is not a personal attack. None of these are. It's business. Whether it's on Amazon, whether it's on Etsy again, you know, you're going to have some derogatory remarks. You're going to have some people making comments that, you know, are over and above what they should be saying. But again, they don't know who you are. You're never going to see these people for the most part. You know, you can block them. You can move on and just be done with it. Don't let it bother you. Don't have this extra stress in your life based on your personal opinions or feelings about the issue. Now, of course, some personal opinions might be geared in, in science and, and, you know, historical information. So, again, some of those may be important to your business, but they should be looked at as a business standpoint then and not a personal opinion. So, you know... It, that's where you have to separate this. I can't tell each person what it's going to take you to see it from a different light. Um, if you've worked for somebody else for your whole life and you're just now getting into this, um, it, it, it's still not a full-fledged business even for some people that are only doing it part-time or working somewhere else. So again, separate that standpoint. Separate yourself from it. Look at it from an outside source. If this was a business that you weren't running, would you think that was okay? You know, is, is that how the business should work? You know, and, and I've said this before, a lot of people you can take business classes from college free or really darn cheap, and it can be used as a tax write-off. So if you don't have the experience and you want to get some more mentality towards it, and you just don't know how to start with it, you can always take a class. You know, it's only a few months worth. I, even at a university, there's some outreach centers that, that have it as well, too, that will teach you how to run a business and how to do it. And even the Small Business Administration offers classes or uh, pamphlets at the, at the very least. And um, depending on, you know, your demographics and stuff, there's free programs out there as well, too. So, you know, my wife could get a, a free course or some free help if she wanted to based on her ethnic background. So, you know, there is more play to this. There are other options out there to you. So again, you, you just don't want to put your personal life out there on this. You know, if, if that's part of your business, different story. But again, if you're just selling on eBay, it's a business. Look at it from a business. Look at what other people, other businesses are doing and, and use those as a better example than what you personally feel emotionally. Don't tie your emotions to any of this. Again, the people who are scamming you, they're not being emotional over this. They're just thinking about how much money they can get. They're being greedy. They want to rip you off. They want to gain something from you. And if you let it bother you emotionally, you're looking at it from the wrong aspect. It's a business loss. Again, these people don't know you. You don't know them. You don't have to interact, as I said. But that's just the touch on that. You know, I know I've heard a lot of people talk about that lately. I've actually had that specific question brought up a couple of times. So I thought I would hit that question with an answer. Um, and again, as I said, I am very professional, very business oriented when I'm in, you know, my eBay uh my eBay role, I guess you could say. So again, that's how I separate my business. Nothing is personal when it's business related. So that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.